it's Lucia here. Now, in a second, I'm going to hand you over to Clea, one of our amazing music instructors. But before I do, I want to tell you a bit about today's video, which is slightly different to our other videos. So far, we have learned to perform music, but today we are not just going to perform music, but we are also going to make up our own piece of music called a composition. To do this, you will need a couple of things in advance. You will need one piece of A4 paper and a pen or pencil or any kind of colouring in tools that you might have at home. Feel free to get creative with it. The composition that Clea is going to teach us about is a famous piece of music from a style called minimalism, which is basically where people would come up with one simple musical idea and then do lots of fun things to it, like put it in different places, make it longer or shorter, turn it upside down, and stuff like that. What you will create today will also be similar to a graphic score, which is basically a picture that musicians play from, like these. So, time to get started. Hello, my name's Clea and this is the third video of the Dunedin Making Music project. So, I have a little activity for you today which is based on a very famous piece of music called Clapping Music by Steve Reich. We'll leave a link below so that you can listen to the original. So, there's a few things. I'm going to, I'm going to put a pause button up for you to, so that you can pause and do these things and then continue with the video because otherwise it'll, it'll go too slowly. So, an A4 piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half and half again and half again and half again and actually half again so it's really small I'll show you it's that small about the size of my nose so if you do that and then you open it out you will have it divided so it should be divided into eight boxes along the long side and four boxes along the short side so now the fun begins. This is also kind of arty as well. So if you like colouring in, get some colouring pens. I've got some pens here and um, or stickers. I love stickers, but I don't have any with me. Now what we're going to do in the in line one, we're going to colour in four or five of those squares. Any any four that you like. So I'm going to do that now. So time to pause. So mine looks like that. And of course, there's no right or wrong, but I've decided to colour in square one, square three, six and seven. So this might not look like music, but actually it's a rhythm. So if I was to count um, five, six, seven, eight, clap, 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 that would be a rhythm. So I'm going to play that for you now. When I say play, I'm going to clap it. Okay, after eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And again. So see if you can practice your rhythm, your first line. I'll pause it again for you. So just pause the video and have a practice. So, stage two of this activity is to move each coloured square along one. So we're going down to line two and we're going to move it along one. So I'm going to colour that in. I'll just do line two for now. So I've coloured in line two and now it looks like this. It's quite pretty. Of course you could do a different colour if you wanted to. 
I, uh, orange is my favorite color, so I've done that. Another thing that you could do if you're finding it tricky to, to, to clap the rhythm is you could write the numbers in. So you could write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that will might be helpful. So if I was to clap this row twice and then this row twice, it would sound like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Second line, one. So I'm going to carry on, same idea, and fill in the rest of my sheet, and then I'm going to, I'll put it up in a, in a neater way, because my colouring's not great. Um, when this one goes off the end, you'll need to move it back to the beginning. So you'll see what I mean, but every row should have the same number of coloured squares. So here's a smart version of what my page looks like. And, uh, and now you can play it either each line once or twice. Um, maybe once is the simplest thing to do. And then you could play it like a round, which is when one person starts, and when that person gets to the second line, another person can start. So it's a bit, if you know London's Burning, you know when you sing that song and then you all start one after the other. So this is me playing each line once, clapping each line once in a round. So that might be quite a challenge and you might need to practice it a few times, um, but it's fun. And then the scope is endless because then what you can do is you can think about different sounds that you might make. So of course we've got clapping, but we've also got clicking, we've got stamping. And then I got really carried away because I went into my kitchen and I found a little saucepan. So I can use that as an instrument. And I found a couple of plastic cups. They make a different sound. So I've got them. And uh, another thing that I did was made a shaker. So I've got a little tub and I put some uh, rice or some lentils, I think. And that's a shaker. So that's also a fun sound. So once you've got two people playing it, you could try it with more.
So I hope that's given you some ideas. There's lots of things you can do just from that one sheet of paper. You can play it slower, faster. You could even turn the music round. You can play each line once or twice, um, twice as fast, different instruments. Um, have some fun with it and uh, maybe send us what you've got up to. Thanks very much. Bye. Thanks, Clea. That was great fun. And just like Clea said, we would love to see your compositions. So do post them on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and tag us so that we can see your really amazing work. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and check back here next week for your next dose of Making Music with Dunedin Consort. Bye for now.